So a pretty common form of uh, exam style exercise involving pointers looks sort of like this. Uh, we have a bunch of variables. Uh, in this case, we'll use characters to make it a bit easier to, to understand as we go. We have a bunch of variables and we want to make a certain modification, but only using a subset of those variables. So for example, just x and y. And it goes without saying, if you're told to use only x and y and you use anything else, you get a zero. Um, and so how do we tackle this? And I mean, spoiler, it's going to involve drawing a diagram. But let's, let's begin by running this code as it is. So um, I've got uh, variables a and b, pointers to those things, and then pointers to the pointers. And I'll draw that out in a minute. But first, we'll try running it. We get unused variable warnings. That shouldn't surprise us. We'll probably be using those variables soon enough. And there we go. Um, and so I'll draw out the diagram. So because everything here is happening inside of main, I won't bother with a scoping box. So we've got a, and that's an int. We've got b, and that's an int. And a contains the character a. b contains the character b. And then I've got my pointers p and q. And they are both of type int star. And p is initialized to an arrow pointing at a. q is initialized to an arrow pointing at b. And then down here, I have my pointers x and y. And x and y both have type int star star. And x is initialized to an arrow pointing at p, and y is initialized to an arrow pointing at q. And of course, just like usual, you might want to go through and verify that the types on the left-hand side and the right-hand side of each assignment match up. It's always important to make sure that you have an exact match when you're assigning a pointer to a pointer variable. OK, so I have this. And the question is, I would like to eventually get this output. A has the, it contains the character C. B contains the character D. Uh, and I'm not allowed to use the names A or B. And I'm not allowed to use the names P or Q. Uh, and it turns there's also this second line of output that we have to worry about. But let's start by trying to set A and B. So of course, as, as it is, A has the value A, B has the value B. And star P, which points to A, has the value uppercase A. And star Q has the value uppercase B. So first step, um, set A to C and B to D. OK, how do I do that? Well, I'm not allowed to use the name A or the name B or the name P or the name Q. I'm required to use only the variables X and Y. So can I get to A using only X and Y? And the answer is yes. I, if I walk backwards, I notice that there isn't. if I follow two arrows from X, I get to A. So I want to assign the character uppercase C to wherever I end up if I start at X, follow an arrow, and then follow an arrow. All right, so that, if I keep my diagram up to date, start at x, follow an arrow, follow an arrow, um, that puts me here. And I assign this the value uppercase c. All right, and by the same token, if I start at y, I follow an arrow, and I follow an arrow, I end up at the variable b. And so I can set that to have the character uppercase d. So let's try running this. Doesn't give me that unused variable warning anymore. OK, A is C, B is D, looking good so far. That's the output that I want. Star P is C, huh. Star Q is D, that looks good. So star Q is D, that looks good. But I want this, star P is D. OK, so what you might have to observe here is that I can't just change the value of A, which is what P currently points to, to be the character um, uppercase D. I should also keep my diagram up to date. Um, if I change the value of A, then when I print out the value of A, it won't print out C. I have to keep the value of A as it is. But I need to make sure that if I start at P and I follow an arrow, I end up at a box that contains D. So maybe it's clear that what I need to do is redirect it so P contains an arrow pointing at B. OK, so here's what I want. But I can't do this. I want P to be set to an arrow pointing at B. Because if I have that, then when I go to print out the values of my variables, so there's P and now it contains an arrow pointing at B, I would print A is C, B is D, star P is D, star Q is D. That'll work, and we can prove it. Let's try running the code. So this is the output that I want, but I'm going to get a zero on the question because I've used variables I'm not allowed to use. I'm only allowed to use x and y in this. So I want to do this, but I can't. 
but is there a way to get the same effect? So, for example, can I get an arrow pointing to B without using the name B? Well, yeah, it's the thing contained in this box called Q, but I can't use the name Q either. Okay, but how else can I get there? Well, I could start at Y and follow an arrow. That takes me to this box that contains an arrow pointing at B. So I could say, okay, well, let's try this. P equals star Y. Start at Y, follow an arrow. And then P will contain this arrow pointing at B. Well, that's one thing, but I'm still breaking the rules. I can't use the name P. I have to use only X and Y. Is there a way to use only X and Y to refer to this box here? Well, yeah, if I start at X and I follow an arrow, that's equivalent to writing P. So I end up with this very uh, opaque looking statement, star X equals star Y. We'll try running that. And it gets us the right answer. And hopefully what I've proven here is first that the question is solvable, for one thing, and that if you build up to the right answer over time, it's sort of small steps along the way and therefore maybe more attainable. It's true though that looking at this, especially if I got rid of the comments, it's hard to know what this operation here really does unless you have walked all the way through with a diagram. Because otherwise, what exactly is it that X is pointing at at each step? And even if you know what X is pointing at, what does it mean to say star X equals star Y? And so this is a case where being able to proactively trace the code, so as you saw, I drew a diagram for all this stuff and then used the diagram to write my lines of code. Being able to do that can really help uh, with developing a solution.